So we're here and we're looking at the Scobby Mills bunker. Um, <clears throat> it's taking us about 20 minutes to walk here. And we're walking right over a bridge over the river. And we're off up there. So somewhere in there is a bunker and an out station. It's all like an outhouse from uh, 1940s. A bit of a journey up here, but it's all good. Caution, dangerous to cliffs. See what's cool around here is the big flow pipe that goes right round. That's Victorian. And you can see it from the archive pictures that they've got on Google. There used to be an island down there, right down where the car park is for sea life. And that used to be this way, Matt. That you well, yeah, we'll go this way. I was gonna say it's a bit day. But that car park down there used to be Monkey Island. And like back 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 in the day. Shit. They're falling all over the place. Well, no, they, they demolished it actually to make the car park for Sea Life Centre. But back then it wasn't Sea Life Centre, it was something different. Fuck myself up around here. Shit. Uh, oh. It's great out here. Muddy as hell. <laughs> okay. I fucking caught you, did I not? <laughs> they fall on your ass, mate. Oh my god, mate. Looks like we're literally walking through the sticks to get away from all this mud. Uh. <laughs> yeah, he left his boots behind. They're both our pair of boots behind. Well, you're not moving a wimpy ass. I'm wearing fucking trainers it's for it. It's all about the adventure, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh god so the whole purpose behind this area like here 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 look we have started it this is where it starts right see this concrete here right this concrete and where i'm standing here it's a depression this is a machine gun turret this is the foundations for the machine gun turret. It got blown up in the 50s and 60s. Which means this is the first one. It's where the bench is. And just over there is where the, the second one is. That was bigger. And this one here was huge. So the entrance. Here's the first one. This is the divan that we have to go down. Fun last time, though. So that's it. In loving memory of Herbert and Annie, love you lots. Well, Bunker. Aha. See, so this full thing was 
Like from the pictures I've got off of the archives, this full thing was huge. Like, it, it's down there. Oh, oh, I there. Climb in. Hey? Oh, we get out if we climb in. Yeah, we can get out. Going this way. Going the same way as he is. Just gonna have a look at a bunker then. Great. I made it down, mate. How's they doing, lad? They're right. <laughs> He's doing well, is they? Yeah, right, well, it's nice to see that. Right, so we'll, we'll go over here first. Oh yeah, plenty of people have been in here. Be good for some pictures in here. Yeah. Did it? Yeah. You know where that is? Because you got no boots on. <laughs> So you can, from... The last time we were in here, it was dry. So this is the bunker. We've, uh, we've, we've got to it, finally. It's filthy in here. The last time we were in here, it was nice and dry. Nice and dry, but it's. I'm gonna go over here. It's gotten worse in here, hasn't it? It's worse in here. Play around here. It's pretty cool, though. We need to try and find that outhouse. That's the next. That's that's the main part. Go. What have you found? What have you found? I've just gone to look for a piss, aren't I? Yeah. Come look at this. I'm trying to get my spot away. <laughs> Toilet arrow. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been in those movies. Yes. Don't need to see that. Nature taking its course. <laughs> Pretty cool little place, though. Pretty cool little place. So, the, uh, the story behind this, this location is, uh, um, back in the early hundreds, um, sailors would come here and down where Sea Life Centre is now, you would know it as Monkey Island. Now, story, because of the name, the story goes that sailors came, uh, brought a monkey and the monkey escaped and went into this surrounding area that we are in now. Um, Hence the name Monkey Island. Years and years go by and the amusement owners, Corrigans, they bought land and developed it, helped develop it with the council, the local council, and made way for the car park of the Sea Life Centre. And that is basically the story of it. Um, and it's just been redeveloped and developed over and over again since then. So that's, that's the story of behind here. 